So Eric B and me is official and we got to hear from Eric B and me yesterday in the press conference at Washington headquarters and let me tell you if you don't want to go through walls for this man after listening to his press conference then there is something wrong with you because I'm telling you listening to him he is a leader of men I mean that is all it is to it and that is one thing that I think may complete this coaching staff we talk about Ron Rivera being a leader of men, and I believe that Ron Rivera is most definitely a leader of men. Now, I've been very critical about his coaching this past year, and a lot of people have been uh, you know, somewhat critical of his coaching because, quite frankly, we had some missed opportunities. I think we had certainly some situations where clock management, game management was in question. At the same time, you can't deny the fact that Ron Rivera is a leader of men. Now we're bringing on Eric Bieniemy, who is also a leader of men. And in some respects, maybe to a lesser extent, <laughs> to a lesser extent, maybe Jack Del Rio is also a leader of men in his own right. Now, no, he's probably a little bit more of a controversial figure for a lot of folks, but. You got three guys who have played in the NFL. And if you want to, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to expand that, then you've got Jason Wright, who's an ex NFL player. And, um, oh, Lord. Oh, my mind has went blank. And he was an ex Redskins player, too. Um, it'll come to me. But, you know, uh, our, our friends in the front office all, um, all ex NFL players. Now you can't get much, much more into. We need football guys on the football side of things than that, right? All ex NFL football players in coaching and front office for the most part. So there's no excuses at that point, right? We've got players who know the game because, or we got coaches and front office staff that knows the game because they used to play the game. So it's time to put up or shut up. But yeah, speaking of Eric being me, I'm telling you, I love that press conference. I watch it from start to finish. And usually about halfway through, I'm kind of like, all right, you know, these conversations, these questions are a little dry. The, you know, the answers are, are a little dry and staged. I'm, I think I'm done with this. I enjoyed, even though that, me and me kind of kept repeating his same stance, you know, because you're going to have the media that's going to try to pry a little bit. They're, they want to know a little bit more of his feelings on why is he not a head coach already? Stuff like that. You know, just trying to pry a little bit of that. He's, he stayed firm. He, he stayed in his stance of where's my feet planted right now. That's what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about being the best coach. Whatever coach I am right now, that is what is on my mind. And in the future, whatever happens, happens. So, you know, I mean, honestly, that is the best approach to it. And so I, I am I am just uh I'm just thrilled to have him, honestly, a stark contrast to what we hear from Scott Turner, right? You know, Scott Turner to me doesn't appear to be a head coach material. Morning coffee. I cannot go through my day without my morning coffee. And, you know, it's even like, you know, his daddy, North Turner, not really, you know, not one of those fiery type of guys. Not someone that you look at and be like, whoa, that, that is a guy that I would walk through walls for. You know, break break down walls or whatever. You know, Eric Benemy gets you excited. Now, at the end of the day, words are just words. You know, enough talk. We've got to see it in action. We want to see the results. And he's already said there's going to be criticism. There's going to be hard coaching. And in today's NFL, that seems like that's kind of an old school approach. And players, you know, younger people in general have kind of grown up 
to be a little bit more coddled and 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 that's not a blanket statement for for all young people but generally speaking and that's probably true for a lot of the younger guys going into the NFL not always a lot of them grew up in some pretty rough situations and had to fight you know to get to where they're at that being said some of them don't respond well to hard coaching and believe that hard coaching was something that is in the past. Listening to Lewis Reddick and his rebuttal to what uh, Shady uh, LaShawn uh, McCoy said in regards to Eric Bieniemy, and of course it seemed all personal. It seemed like a personal attack on EB. And Reddick was said he was pretty pretty much disappointed. And he went on to state pretty much the same thing. He, he feels like the hard coaching is kind of an old school approach and not many NFL players like that hard coaching, but feels that it's kind of a necessity in today's NFL to really get some of these players straightened out because I think the thought process is, is that some of these players fizzle out because they just they don't respond to the coaching. You know, they feel like they can they can survive on ability alone. And they have the athletic ability. They don't feel like they really need the coaching. You know, they can be their own superstar. And some are able to do that and most aren't. That's the reason why that you have an average um NFL lifespan of a player of maybe like three to five years because that a lot of these players just don't respond to hard coaching and I like the old school hard nosed approach football is a violent sport it's a hard nosed sport as it is and it should have hard nosed hard coaching involved guys like Eric Bieniemy, you know guys like Bill Belichick, guys like Ron Rivera, you know, people who, you know, they, they've been a part of the game all of their lives. They've played the game. They know how it is. They know the violence. They know what it takes to win. And Eric Benemy obviously knows what it takes to succeed and win Super Bowls. And so that's what he's going to bring to Washington. I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited. You know, I saw a clip of, of uh, Terry McLaurin speaking with Eric Bieniemy after the press conference. And man, it gave me goosebumps. Really did. Because it just, you know, you could see the excitement in Terry McLaurin's eyes. He's, he's ready. He's ready to be coached. You know, Terry McLaurin is one of those leaders. He's a leader of men as well. And he's ready to follow that leadership under Eric Bieniemy, you know, <clears throat> he already walked through walls, you know, run through walls for for Ron Rivera. He's going to do the same thing for Eric Bieniemy, and if he can get the rest of the team, that offense on on the side, the same, you know, level of thinking, the the same wavelength, I guess you would say, we're going to see some good things on this offense. I really do believe so. Um, you know, you're going to have the naysayers who want to watch Eric Benemy fail because they didn't want him to go to Washington. And it's a it's a weird it's this weird thinking. They wanted him to go elsewhere to be a head coach because they feel like he was held back because of the color of his skin. Now, there could be some truth into that, and shame on the NFL if that's the case because, you know, I don't care what color of the skin you are, honestly. You know, you could say, well, Greg, guess what? You're white, so you're going to have to sit this one out, bud. I, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't, I've never seen it. You know, I don't care. Um, you know... I mean, me as a, as a white person, if I had the athletic ability and I was like 15 years younger um, and I was in the NFL, I don't care if it was, you know, Tony Dungy. I don't care if it was Eric Bieniemy, Ron Rivera. I don't care if it's, um, 
you know, a lot of the other white coaches in the league, if they are a leader of men and they get me to play my best football, you know, that's who I want to play for. You know, because I look into the soul of that human, you know, the outer shell is a sh it's just the shell. At the end, it's, it's what's in that soul. And if in that soul is a heart that has a love of Christ for people, but has a love, you know, to want to bring out the best in people. And believe it or not, you know, not trying to, to get religious on my channel, but believe it or not, people don't understand that even in their, um, uh, even in their jobs, it can be a ministry, right? Even if you're not even trying to make it a ministry. And because of that, like people like Eric ben me, uh, and I don't know if he has whatever faith in me, not, but I'm just saying that that is what they eat, live, and breathe. You know, it's almost their religion, honestly, right? And saying that, that is what they live for. So in their heart of hearts, you know, they're out there to make men better. They're out there to make men be champions in this game. And they are hopefully looking at these other guys and they're looking into their souls and their minds. They're not looking at the outer shell. Now, yeah, they may be looking at their athletic ability and saying, you know, obviously, if you're, if you're a punter, you know, you've got a punter's body, you're not going to be on the defensive line. But, uh, you know, maybe my point, hopefully my point is not rambling. I just want to say for Eric being me, someday he's going to be a head coach. And it's not going to be because of the status quo. It's going to be because he deserves it. He probably already deserves it now. But for those people who want to see him fail because they feel like he made the wrong choice in going to Washington, I would challenge you to reevaluate your thinking because I think you've got screwed up thinking in your head. You know, Eric Benemy saw an opportunity to come work with guys like Ron Rivera and he was excited about it. You know, he wanted to get out of Kansas City and expand his opportunities and that's what he's doing. Now, if it leads to a head coaching position next year, God bless him. God bless him. I hope it does. You know, uh, I will say, let's bring a championship to Washington before that happens. But um, at the end of the day, I want Eric Bieniemy to bring out the best in our team, and I want this organization to bring out the best in Eric Bieniemy. Hope that makes a lot of sense. Hope I didn't ramble too long on this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments what you thought on the uh, press conference yesterday. Um, are you wanting to run through walls for Eric being me? I know I am. I am excited, man. I am just, I am so excited. Hey, um, just really quickly, um, you know, like the video, share it with your buddies, comment, helps the algorithm. More of the algorithm um, that that is churning <laughs> on this video. The more it gets out, uh, more views obviously helps me out quite a bit. Uh, subscribing always helps, but you got to watch the videos. Honestly, I'd rather you watch videos. But you know, anyway, you can also help the channel out by visiting my in the artwork uh, Etsy page. I've got a lot of cool stuff. I've added more uh, since this ad, but. You know, I've got a Washington Redskins commander. Uh, I'm sorry, commander's mug, not Redskins, but I do have a Redskins um, banner. If you're still inter interested in old school stuff, I even have stuff for the Cowboys. I've got stuff for Bengals. I've I've got stuff for World Champs as well. So, um, for you Red Bulls fans who can't give it up, I've got stuff for that alternate logos for Commanders that nobody else has. 
Uh, even got red hogs because you never know, you know, new ownership, right? Um, you know, music fans. I've got T-shirts for kids. I got tremendous wall art. I got it in canvas and metal frames. Um, I've got watercolor type of art. I've got abstract space stuff. You need to check it out, man. I, I've got something for everybody. Helps me out, helps the channel out, and you get something in return. It's Envy Artwork on Etsy. Check it out. Thank you, guys. I will see you in the next one. Hell to Washington Commanders. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.